guys. Um, I had a subscriber ask me if, um, if it's possible to figure out how to change the LVC or low voltage cutoff on a brain power controller. Uh, the one in question, the one I'm doing anyway, is a 60 volt, 1500, uh, 1500 watt, and the low voltage cutoff is 53 volts. Now, what's really cool about controllers is they can actually go quite a bit lower before they um, start acting weird. Um, I've had one as low, I had a 60 volt controller once as low as 24 volts, as long as your amps are up and they don't sag too much, it'll, it'll work fine. And it'll work great as a 36 volt. Um, the, basically, the LVC is basically there for lead acid batteries. Hopefully one day they'll ditch the LVC altogether because BMS is pretty much take care of that uh, the cutoff anyway. Um, yeah, so this subscriber asked me if I could figure it out and it's been digging in my head since then so I came down here and spent a few hours uh, digging away at this uh, controller. I'm not going to give away my secret hot sauce on how I find the resistor on controllers. I'm not even going to go into detail on that at all. Uh, but I will show you which one you have to replace on this to get to run as low as 20 volts and it'll still work. Um, as you can see I've been going through a lot of resistors. These paper film ones, these these are garbage. You need a half decent one like um, this one here with the heat sink on it. Uh, they don't get hot, they get mildly warm. You can you know, mount it in the back of the controller like that or if you had room in the um, somewhere on there, but uh, what I did is I cut the I cut these legs off, and then I just put it sideways and glued it down. I put some Tapcon tape on the. There were some uh, pinouts on the side for the for the pick. I put some Tapcon tape over that and then glued it down. Ran the wires over to where the resistor that you're going to be um, replacing, and the specs on this resistor is a RH10 10 watt it's a 3.9 K ohm resistor at 1% it's a Dale um, I've tried at least six or seven of them uh, I tried a 100 ohm I tried a 220 ohm um, all of them in which you could run voltages as low as 20 volts all the way up to 66 the only problem I had was these, obviously these cheaper ones would overheat. And actually there's another couple of resistors below the one you're going to be messing around with that run in series with this. And if they're not proper, then the um, proper ohms, the ones below will overheat with the higher voltages. Um, anyway, um, so like I said, I, I glued this down here, made sure it uh, clears the uh, case when I put it back on. The resistor you're going to remove is this SMD right here. Uh, this one is a, I've got to help here on the computer. It's a 24K ohm resistor at 1%. And it's a, I believe it's a 2402. Yeah, it's a 2402. 1.4 watt. Anyway, it's um, if you look on the board, um, let me bring you down there. On one of my videos, I had mentioned on the on the brain power board that there was a bunch of pinouts there that were never used. They didn't put any. Well, they look like you could put pins on it and put a jumper on it. It's a 60, 62 volts, 70, and then 80. Um, if you the very top one, if you follow it over, there's a small resistor in line with it, and then next there's a large one that says obviously 2402. You're going to remove that one, and then that's where you're going to tie your Dale into that. And I'll show you the results. Like I said, I've been at this for a bit, and most of them would overheat or overheat the board itself. This actually works. Um, what I found was the voltage on one side of the resistor was the pack voltage, and the the voltage on the other side would be the monitoring voltage and it has to be lower less lot less than what the pack voltage is or you blow the board up so this is at 60 volts you get the pick going there if I throttle it it's 
in and then if we check the voltage we got 66 there and on the other side it's 16 that's what you want now so you know it works at 66 volts and up and like I said that gets mildly warm I'm not even worried about that touching the um, the uh, the caps it's, it's next to nothing it's perfect actually the other ones like I said were so hot you could smell them um, okay so we're gonna run 20 volts here and that is 20 volts and on the other side six if you look at here the pick is working and if I give it throttle not as bright but it is working so no LVC and if you use a Dale it uh, it will stay semi cool uh, I shouldn't have to tell why you shouldn't have to um, mount it to anything just glue it down and make sure it's not churning anything out but uh, I figured I'd share that this is trial and error been at it for a while and uh, I think it's finally done all right I'm gonna actually bring it up a couple of volts and see if it uh, overheats but I, I doubt it will so there you go that's what it takes if you want to know if the brain power LVC can be changed out uh, just remove the SMD 2402 and replace it with a Dale Better guys.